Okay, welcome back for part two of the tour of Corinth. As I already told you, I was going to call it Corinthia, but I had second thoughts. I'm going to have to quickly change. I know you won't be able to see us. Right, we got Lake Azulia over here. I, I hate me faking up fake words because I have to make up a spelling for them. And some spellings just don't look right. So, got Lake Azulia and the place where we were beginning our mining soon. So, if I come down here. A great place for fishing, by the way. Fish is how I've been keeping alive lately. You know, I'm peaceful at the moment because I didn't want to show you when the sun get blown out. But I will change back soon. This is where the mining is. I literally, just to show I haven't done anything, that is the mine so far. That is it. And we will be mining that place soon. When the Minecraft adventures return. Which they will. I've planted a lot of trees. And hope they sprout. Because Corinthia, where is um where is uh Aquitaine was more of a stone and a, you know you know what I mean, like a more manufactural kind of town. Corinthia is more hidden in the forest, it's more of a natural town, it's more of a you know Well, you don't, but I'm trying I'm finding it hard to explain it. So if I keep coming around, you know, I've planted a load of trees. Like a lot of trees. I picked up so many saplings when I was taking out trees because as you remember this whole space like around this lake was completely covered in dirt. I mean it was up to about there. And then there was trees on top of that and then trees on top of trees and it was just amazing. And I just had to you know cut it down to size so I could make this, which is really annoying and I liked it being that tall but unfortunately it didn't work. So if we come in here this is the Corinth General Goods Store. Now, like I said, I wanted to make this town like an RPG game. Well, I like making all my towns like an RPG game, but I really want to town with this town. So, this is where the person would be standing if they sell stuff. So, if you multi, it'd be pretty cool to multi on this map. And this, um, in this town. What's the map? So, we've got like shovels, pickaxes, axe, hoes, plants and seeds, torches. I'm actually using the last of my torches, I have no more torches left. And I've ran out of coal, which is really annoying. Luckily, I managed to find a um, small amount of coal when I was, uh, well, it was actually quite a large amount of coal. I found something like 60, 56, 60 coal while I was digging out um, the lava path. So I was quite lucky, so I was set up with torches so they can't spawn into buildings. If we just come here, here is the current bakery. Now, as you already know, my texture pack isn't working, and no one's been able to give me an idea of how to fix it that actually works. Game Seeker gave me a very good idea. Thank you, Game Seeker. I tried it like ten times, but unfortunately, my texture pack still not working. So, thanks for the help, but um, it's not working. So, if anyone's can find think of another way, then please let me know. But these are cakes, but unfortunately, it will not show them at it as it is kind of annoying. Then we keep bread in here, stew. It's just going to be, it's like the same as the other one, it's just a bakery shop instead. Uh, we've got apples, pork, and fish. Well, like Etmeister fish, because creepers seem to love this place. I don't know why. Creepers seem to love coming up to the outskirts and going, hello, look at my city you've got there, I'm going to destroy it. Right, we have the um, current sharp and stable weapon shop, which is pretty cool. Um, it's same as the others. Uh, you've got swords, bows and arrows, then you've got helmets, cuirasses, greaves, and boots. Now, I will tell the truth, none of these have anything in them, for the reason that I died uh, when the twice. The fire and a creeper got me when I was taking out the trees. The creeper just ran up behind me. So that's kind of annoying. And I think my swords are gone as well. The only thing I have is uh, a bow and, like, 42 arrows, but I don't want to waste them. Oh no! My gate's gone. Oh yeah, that got burnt in the fire, didn't it? There was a fire over here as well when I was putting the lava thing down. Never mind. So, this got burnt in the fire. This is going to be a graveyard. Just going to just close over here, um, and then we'll have graves for every time I die, and I'll be able to get like, two rows in. Maybe three. 
hoping I don't have to put three down. This is going to be the times I die in Corinth or around Corinth area. The same is going to happen with Axane. If I die a certain amount of times there, then I'll put it in the graveyard there. This is my greenhouse. Any plants that I find useful? This is pretty much so. I'm now going to have a shit ton of bread. And, uh, like, because bread seems to be the easiest thing to have, so a shitload of bread is good. It's a nice long greenhouse, I can grow a lot of stuff here. If anyone could tell me if you can grow anything else apart from uh, wheat, there must be something else. We have the abandoned shed here, I just got a nice little add on. Yeah, and as people know around me, it's got something like that, there's always something buried underneath, so I will get to that later. First, we come here, which is the abandoned mine shaft. I thought if it's an old town, nice to make it abandoned. And as with anything abandoned, if you dig, you will find secrets. So, I made this one so it leads into. my current version of my bank. So if we come down here, this is my block bank. So when I have gold or diamond or iron that is big enough to put into one square, I will put it down here. If I have too much, I will expand it. Um, this is just there to look like a closed off mine shaft. I actually didn't find anything of use down here. but. If I feel like it, I might end up mining this instead of that, and I'll strip by this. And this is where I'm going to keep like ores and ingots and other valuable materials like coal and flint and stuff like that. You know, like rare materials you don't usually get a lot. But you have to really, really look for instead of just go, oh look, there's a shitload of gravel. Gravel's like the stuff I put in the thingy. Flint is not as common. So let's put this down. Look at that, it looks like a normal everyday abandoned shack. It's lovely. And we have the same with this. This has not actually been finished. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. No idea whatsoever. But um, it does lead off somewhere. Oh. Wrong one. I don't actually open it because I haven't got anything to cover it back in, so. But there is like a series of tunnels under here that goes in like a spiral to like a big room, for which I'll probably end up keeping something like diamond. Diamond is the most expensive, you know, the most hard thing to find. So yeah, that's the end of my tour of Corinth. Hope you guys enjoy the town. Hope you guys. You know, watch the new series of uh, Minecraft Adventures, which are going to happen pretty soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate. <sighs> oh, I've got to stop making videos like. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, you know, give me positive or negative feedback. I really don't mind. I enjoy feedback. It's helpful. If you've got any helpful hip hints for me, please leave in the comments section. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later, enjoy it.